All right, before I fire it up, let's go over absolutely everything that has been done today. So downpipe's finally installed. As you just saw, I finished welding that up. Intercooler piping is all done. Blow-off valve is nice and tucked away in there. You know, less crap to crowd up the space. Um, I have the wastegate actuator and custom bracket. I gotta take the bracket off and paint it once I know it works. Uh, just clears the turbo and goes over there using the factory bend. Um, I'm gonna do an actuator test on it with my uh, snap-on scan tool. So I make sure that it's gonna actually work like that. Nobody's ever used this actuator in an aftermarket application before. So we shall see. So we got OEM wideband sensor, aftermarket wideband sensor, EGT sensor. Um, I have the gentleman's uh, uh, boost pressure sensor or map sensor hooked up the right way um, using the fast religion modified turbo smart uh, boost reference uh, adapter that's in there CVT fluids in it here we've got coolant in it um, it's got to be blood out obviously um, everything under the car is hooked up so aside from the front bumper which you know that takes two seconds to put on uh, this thing's ready to fire up so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up the plan is to actually drive this thing to the monthly car meet that I host uh, about a half hour away. And that's gonna be my test drive in this um, so I can show it off at the meet and also make sure I don't have any problems. So let's, uh, let's fire it up. I'm gonna go for a ride. The wastegate actuator did something pretty funky when it was idling, um, but I think it might just be the way I had it adjusted wasn't the w right way. So we're gonna go for a ride in this thing. Um, now, I forgot my GoPros, so I'm gonna go for a ride if anything interesting happens, I'll bring you guys back in on it. Check engine light, all the codes that I have uh, are exhaust, EGR system related. Um, so if you look those codes up, they're all EGR related, but that's because you know there's no EGR in the car. So that's the check engine light. But take it for a ride and see what happens. Alright, just got back from taking it for a ride, and I have to say, uh, these V2, the higher compression engines, they they spooled that turbo up a little faster than the V1s did, that's that's for sure. Uh, so, take it for a ride, there's no leaks or anything like that, so that's good. Um, everything held up. So, for those of you who are playing around with these at home, you would think the actuator is pulled in all the way at its resting position, but it's actually not. It sticks out just a tiny, tiny bit. So. I had it adjusted wrong, which is why when I started it up, it kind of shot that way. Um, but it's it's all set now. Um, I'm gonna have to strengthen that bracket up, but otherwise the car drives fine. So I guess under boost, it actually sucks back in a little bit when it starts seeing positive pressure, um, which seals up the wastegate. I'm assuming that's why they did that. Um, but yeah, it, it drives actually pretty good. Um, yeah, it drives like a Juke, a CVT Juke. Uh, these solid motor mounts are just brutal in a CVT if you're not running it in manumatic mode. The the revs are so low when you're just putting around. That's that's just brutal. I would never be able to do that, not in a daily driver. Um, but, you know, good for all of you that do. So, I was going to put the bumper on it, um, but I think I actually might drive it to the show like this, just because, you know, race car. Um, and I can get some rolling shots of it. Uh, with the blow off valve going off. It actually sounds really cool. I don't know if you can hear it in that video I just posted. I recorded that on my cell phone. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna drive it like this. I've got the, the fender flares all bolted down. Every, nothing's going to go anywhere. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow or anything. So it's perfectly safe. Um, it's just, you know, race car. So the next step is to uh, get it tuned. Um, obviously put it back together. But yeah. Cool. Hi. You made it through a whole video. I appreciate that. You should go check out our other videos. You should also go check out our website, thefastreligion.com. We got like sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff.